It may still be cold outside, but there are some gorgeous wearable spring trends that are worth knowing about right now. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. Now I know I haven't gone crazy. I am talking about spring trends because I love to give you guys a little bit of a jump start on the new season. And especially when it's cold and chilly, it's exciting to think about a new season and some warmer weather because really it is just around the corner. But these trends are some of the key looks for the new season, but I've gone through and picked out the most wearable of them all. So I know there's gonna be something here for everyone, so I hope you enjoy. Now this first trend is going to really divide you guys, but for anyone that loves skinny jeans, you're gonna love this. So skinny pants are back for spring. Now we've seen so many oversized silhouettes and oversized man style baggy pants. They will still be trending and still very much in fashion, but skinny pants are making a comeback. Personally, I've always loved skinny pants and I do think it's really nice to have a little bit of a change from some of the oversized styles that certainly I've been enjoying so skinny pants are back in a very major way for spring and they're going to creep through into the cooler months at the end of 2023 as well. So if you love them, then grab yourself a pair. Now cargo pants have been trending for a couple of seasons now and what we are going to be seeing in spring is colorful cargo pants. So if you love a relaxed style of pant, expect to see cargos in all sorts of beautiful colors. There also seems to be a trend for pockets and pocket detailing this year. So what I am seeing with cargos is they seem to have more pockets than ever before. You are not gonna know what to do with all of the pockets, but that's okay. They are colorful, they're practical, and really wearable. So if cargo pants are your jam, then spring is the season for you. I've never met a polka dot that I haven't liked, and so that's why I'm really excited that polka dots are popping up all over the place for spring this year. Pardon the pun, but it was kind of fun. Um, so polka dots are here for spring, and they're actually a very versatile print. They're as versatile as, say, a stripe. It's a very easy way to wear a pattern, but still maintain a sort of a classic timeless look. So if you haven't dipped your toe in polka dots before, then maybe spring is the time to do it. They're a nice change from the classic spring florals as well. So polka dots are here and back in a big way for spring. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. Now, I'm a huge fan of Squarespace. Squarespace and I'm super excited that this year I have some exciting changes happening with my blog. I've been very slack in the last little while and I haven't updated my blog but that's been for a very good reason because I've got some exciting changes happening and if you too are interested in getting online or building some sort of online presence then Squarespace is the easiest and most efficient way to do it. Squarespace is very simple all you need to do is drag and drop it's incredibly logical and intuitive so as I said you don't need any technical smarts to be a Squarespace guru. So what I suggest you do is head to squarespace.com and take advantage of their free trial. It's so good. You can really check out how Squarespace works. And then when you're ready to push play and launch yourself online, then use my unique URL, which is squarespace.com forward slash the style insider and my code, the style insider, and that will save you 10% off your first website or domain. I will leave a link in the description box below to make it easy for you. But if you are ready to launch yourself online this year, and I recommend that you do, then Squarespace is the way to do it. Now, if you've ever struggled to squeeze all of your belongings into those tiny little purses that have been trending for the last few years, then you're gonna love this next trend for spring, and that is oversized bags. Now, designers sent humongous bags down the runway and what I will expect to see is a paired back more more kind of user-friendly option for that trend so it's safe to say that bags are getting bigger for spring now I personally like this I have always struggled with fitting my belongings into a little tiny purse and so there are going to be some large crossbody type bags some large clutches and just certainly oversized totes as well so if you bought into this trend a couple of seasons back then drag out your oversized bags because you will be bang on trend for spring 
spring this year. One of the most gorgeous colors for spring is a beautiful bright sunshine yellow. Now I know yellow is one of those divisive colors because some people feel they can wear it and wear it well and others not so much. Now the key with wearing yellow is finding a shade that works for you. If you're struggling to find a shade that works for you then find a piece that doesn't sit close to your face. So opt for yellow pants, skirt, yellow accessories. Yellow is just a great easy dopamine hit for spring and it is going to be everywhere so if you need a little bit of sunshine in your life then yellow is the way to do it for spring. Now this one is arguably not a trend but it is going to be bigger than ever come spring. So that is a trend for wearing metallics and I personally love metallics. I think if you pull together an outfit and you can't work out what shoes are going to look best with it, a pair of metallic sandals or ankle boots are always going to work. So I definitely consider metallics as being classic timeless pieces that can be worn for years to come. So the great thing about an item or a style being on trend is that there are just more options available. So there are going to be beautiful metallic fabrics and metallic jackets. In fact, I saw some gorgeous metallic jackets being worn with some cute cargo shorts, some sort of long line below the knee cargo shorts, which I loved. So metallic, think in terms of jackets, shirts, metallic pants, and also accessories, lots of accessories. I am definitely going to buy myself a pair of gold or silver ankle boots. I used to have a pair for years and I don't know what, I probably Marie Kondo'd them out of the house at some stage. I miss them, so I'm definitely gonna opt for some new metallic boots again, but metallics are fantastic. And metallic purse is the same sort of thing. If you can't work out what bag or purse to work with an outfit, metallic always works. So this is an especially exciting trend for the season. I recently posted a video on denim and jean styles that are trending for 2023. I'll link it up here in a card if you didn't see that one, but the style of jeans that is hip and happening that makes me sound so old-fashioned but it's hip and happening for spring is embellished jeans so jeans with all sorts of rhinestones and sewn on little applique details and even printed denim jeans as well I'm not sure about these, the jury's out for me. I do see that they're very wearable and I do see that they are going to attract the inner magpie in many of us, especially if you do tend to wear more of a classic style, then this is just a fun way to inject a little bit of magic into your outfit. Fashion designers seem to have had a real obsession with sheer, sheer fabrics lately. And I can see the appeal, but for me, it's just not a look that I can easily incorporate into my lineup. But I'm loving what's happening for spring, and that is sheer fabrics, but they are knitted fabrics. So they're a little bit slightly heavier weight and slightly less sheer. So they look great to kind of add a little bit of interest to an outfit, but you're not actually exposing anything. But you can sort of see through them and see that you're perhaps wearing a crop top underneath a sheer knitted dress or a sheer knitted top or shirt but you're not actually exposing anything so I love the fact that these pieces add interest but they're not going to make you feel or certainly me feel too exposed. I think they're great layering pieces as well for spring which is a time of year where the weather can be a little unsettled so think about these knit pieces as great layering options for spring. Now our whole obsession with sport lux isn't going anywhere and in fact what I have been seeing is sweatshirts which I'm wearing my favorite new sweatshirt from Anina Ving today but sweatshirts like this being teamed with silky shimmery spring skirts. So I love this look. I think it's just a very effortless, easy look to pull off and it just enables you to wear some of your sporty style pieces but just give them that little bit of an elevated, slightly more modern look. And the key to really pulling off this look is making sure that you mix that high low. So this low sort of sweat, relaxed style with something that's just a little bit more elevated Elevated. Today I'm just wearing some leather look pants. They're kind of like a sweat pant in a leather type fabric. So that's kind of the thing that we will be seeing in spring. Just that sort of high-low styling to give an elevated sports luck. luck. 
Luck. <laughs> Sport Lux look for spring. Now this next one is a bit of a mini trend, but it has maximum impact and that's why I've included it on today's list. And that's the trend for wearing asymmetric lines. Now I haven't called it hemlines because what I have seen are a lot of tops with asymmetric off the shoulder detailing. Now this is actually a, an incredibly flattering style. Certainly asymmetrical skirts and dresses because you you can choose where that line hits you so if you don't like your knees you can choose an asymmetric skirt that just falls beneath your knee and then across down to your ankles just to give you a little bit of coverage but not sort of swamp you we've seen lots and lots of maxi skirts and dresses which I am still a huge fan of and they are still happening for spring summer this year but these asymmetric lines just give you an option of a really flattering outfit and high impact they also look great as stri with stripes I've seen a few beautiful asymmetric dresses with striped fabric and they just look amazing so if you like showing off your shoulders or your arms or you prefer to cover up your legs but you don't want to have too much fabric then these asymmetric styles are really flattering and if you'd like to have more fun with the clothes that you already own then click or tap on the screen here for some very simple styling tips and tricks to help you elevate your style I'll see you there